Alright, welcome to my channel, and this is going to be my video on how to properly disassemble and reassemble, load as well your Caltech. Mine is a Glock 22 configuration and 40 Smith & Wesson. Let's begin. First, if your bolt is back, mine is not, you want to slowly and gently let your bolt ride forward. Don't just drop it on an empty chamber. Never drop it on an empty chamber. Next, here is your pin. This pushes out from left side to right side. Place your thumb over the buffer tube, which is at the top on the back of the buttstock, right here. It's hard to see. There's crappy lighting on this angle, but believe me, there's a buffer right here. Alright, so push your pin down and through, release your buffer tube, here's your buffer and your spring. They do come apart, the spring is double sided, it will go in either way. And no, your spring is not broken, they come like this. They are like two different paper clip like things that hook onto each other and it's basically, I would say, probably a very good spring design. Let's continue. Next, take out your charging handle. After that, make sure your pin is pulled all the way out. This will not come out of the rifle. Don't try. Next, use some inertia to get your bolt to come out. Your bolt will come out in one piece, but is two pieces. These fit together just like some Lincoln logs. They don't uh, fit very tightly, but they do fit together. You know, so don't worry if they're a little loose. It's normal. And there are your basic parts. That's it. So, a couple more things you should know. Don't dry fire your kel while you have it disassembled. Leave the safety on safe. Don't mess with it. You can, however, still fold it. Alright, let's put her back together. As you can see, right here, this is the extractor. Now you want to make sure that this is facing the right side of the firearm. I'll show you more what I mean. Imagine you are looking through there at the camera right now. This would be what you would see. So, the pin comes out on the right side. The bolt faces the right side. So carefully guide your bolt back in. Give it some inertia and she should slide right back in. Now to show you what I was blabbing on about, there is that channel. That's the extractor. That's how it should look. Next, you want to drop your charging handle back in. Then take your spring and your buffer, connect them. You may have to fish around for a moment, but the spring will go in. Push in on the buffer tube, or the buffer. Make sure it's lined up correctly with this top notch, which I'll show you in a second. Push the pin 
and it should slide right through. <coughs> now, to line it up, this black notch right here, you want to line up the line on the buffer with that notch. Disconnected from your channel. And that is how you take apart and put back together the Keltec Sub 2000.